Hello again, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Alexis Walters. Well, we've done numerous stories lately of the homecomings of people recovering from COVID-19, many of whom have spent 100 plus days in the hospital. But the homecoming held today in Sharpsville for Autumn Delmonico was 152 days after she was admitted. That's the most that we have heard of so far. The parade celebrating her release is our top story at 10. The van carrying Autumn Delmonico arrived on Main Street in Sharpsville shortly before the parade in her honor. The 20-year-old with Down syndrome had just been released from the hospital. Autumn lives in nearby South Pymatuning Township, but hadn't even been home yet. She was very sick, I mean, gravely ill, I would say, you know, life-threatening. Her mother, Lori, explained how on March 21st, they took Autumn to Sharon Regional Medical Center, where doctors immediately transferred her to UPMC Passavent near Pittsburgh, where she spent four months in intensive care and a month in rehabilitation. She lost everything. She couldn't stand. She couldn't do anything, okay? So uh, we have her now where she's walking again with a walker. To welcome Autumn home, Sharpsville threw a parade with about 150 people lining Main Street. It was organized by Peggy Cataldi. Autumn's just a real sweetheart. She's very, very special and loving, loves everybody all the time. She's always smiles and very sweet. After the Sharpsville High Marching Band passed by, the van carrying Autumn came down the street. People held signs and waved, some saying they missed her. Welcome home. Thank you. Autumn sat in the front and took it all in. At one point, Janet Petrosini, who was Autumn's aide in school, walked up to the van and handed Autumn a welcome home card. When talking about it afterwards, she started to get emotional. And I've kept in contact with her dad through the months here. And uh, he let me know that she was coming home. And uh, it's, such, it's so great to see her come back home. We just love her. Autumn Delmonico, by the way, was Mercer County's first reported COVID case. After the parade, she did go home where she was welcomed with another homecoming.